Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, everyone, or should I say, welcome back to Mia Fey yeah. Trials and Tribulations. Yeah. Today, oh. Well, Good now we have a save state in case of our. Uh, <laughs> I, audio I meant to push function and not <laughs> save state. Sorry. Oh yeah, we so had a cutscene. Yeah, we're, we we had a cutscene. Well, we're well, about really. to get. We're one. about to get one. It's February sixteenth, one fourteen p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Four. Mr. Falls, I- Ugga! Ah! I I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! I want to say thanks! You're real good! You really hooked me up! Thanks! We're almost there. Once I prove that she committed the crime. Yeah, but there's one more big obstacle we've got to get past. Obstacle? Yeah, motive. Why would Melissa Foster kill that policewoman anyway? Because she's Dahlia! It's so simple! Motive, huh? They don't know that, though. But we do! Anyway. And everyone else who played this game does! <laughs> anyway, we're still badly in need of information. Information. Right. What we need the most is info about this Melissa Foster herself. All we know is she's a student studying literature. And one more thing. What is it? Well, the incident that happened five years ago, of course. The kidnapping murder case that Zebra Boy is on death row for. I didn't do nothing! I didn't kill nobody! I never lie! Mr. Falls, in that case, tell us more about it. About what happened five years ago. Okay, I trust you. Cool. That day, five years ago, I dream of it every day. <laughs> this picture, it reminds me of everything. Probably Three jokes same, yeah. just like then, five years ago. Like it could fall apart, fall apart any minute. Okay. So it's been broken like that for at least five years. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but you sound like the one that could fall apart at any minute. Hey, shut up. It's true. I did. I did kidnap her. Okay. Five years ago, I kidnapped my girlfriend, Dahlia Hawthorne. Oh! Okay, so... Your girlfriend? Huh? Sorry, you were saying? So that, that would make a lot of sense, though, that she's like, well, better change my name since he doesn't remember any faces and stuff. Then she could be like, not gonna get kidnapped again. Yeah, but, that's true. Oh. Hey, hold on there. Did you say Hawthorne? The victim's last name. Dahlia Hawthorne. Valerie's little sister. They look nothing alike. W what? Why are, are, are you serious? The girl, let her go! But she survived, <laughs> somehow. Shut up! C come closer, and I kill her! Sorry, but you're not going to get the chance. The detective back then was Valerie Hawthorne. First, I thought shooting someone for a kidnapping was crossing the line, but if it was to protect her little sister, I can understand why she did it. Wrong! No protect sister! Valerie betray me! Betray us! Maybe they were engaged, and then she was like, no, I don't want my sister marrying you. And then he was like, oh yeah, well. And then pulled like a Donkey Kong. Uh, we're gonna figure <laughs> that out throwing in like a so. at her. What do you mean she betrayed you? Everything. All lies. All make-believe. Kidnapping, too. A make-believe kidnapping? Dahlia. My girlfriend. My love. My teen angel. Ugh. Did he actually say my teen angel? He's seen one too many soap operas. I do anything she says. Anything Dahlia says. That seems to be a recurring theme. Anything Dahlia says? Hold on a minute! What you're saying is that the kidnapping five years ago was planned by- Yeah. Me and Dahlia. And Valerie, too. Valerie was in on it? Dahlia's family rich, family business. We get one jewel. That's what we thought. Me and Dahlia wrote kidnap note. We send to her dad. Ask for two million dollar diamond. Tell him to make exchange on Dusky Bridge. 
We tell him Valerie make transfer because she knew detective. Having a police detective in your pocket is a useful thing, all right. Uh, yeah. In the end, you were planning on splitting two million freeways, huh? Yeah, but that woman! What, she wanted it all? That woman! Valerie! She do it for real! She shoot at me for real! Me and Dahlia! I was shot in arm. Dahlia. She jump in river. Well, somehow she survived. Either that or she had the craziest, like... Uh... Think, like, reconstruction surgery. Like, <laughs> a la um, Mimi a la Mimi Mimi. <laughs> Jump. You don't mean she jumped on purpose, do you? I couldn't do it. I could never push her. Anyway, I blacked out. Wake up with police all over. And that's when they decided to give you the death sentence. I couldn't believe it. That woman, she betrayed me! I mean, that makes a lot of sense. However, they were very rude. That man, Terry Falls, he killed her! He threw her off the bridge! He threw my beloved sister into the Roaring River 40 feet below! These five years, all I wonder is why, 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 why? Why did she lie? That's all I want to know. So that's why you called her. You wanted to hear the truth from Valerie herself. Yes, but I forget what she looked like, so I tell her to wear a scarf. I don't want to hurt her! Just ask why. Right. Why? Why did you lie? Why did you betray me? I just want to hear answer from her mouth. That's all. So that's why. That's why you made a crazy escape like that. Just one thing, Zebra Boy. My senses are tingling all over. Tell me, Mr. Falls, where is it? Huh? Where's what? Come on now, kitten. The ransom. The two million dollar diamond. Remember that now? Did you give it back to Pops? Did the police take it? I don't know. Huh? You don't know? No, really. I don't know. It's gone. With Dahlia. Well, I guess that means we'll find it at some point. With Dahlia. That day, on the bridge, Dahlia put it in backpack. When she jumped off, backpack went with her. Now gone with Dahlia. Gone forever. Into Eagle River. Well, maybe you'll be so happy, so lucky that... I don't know. It's probably a good thing that Dahlia has disappeared from his mind. <laughs> She's kind of not the best person. Disappeared with Dahlia, huh? Wait a minute! You can come back in now. We're about ready to go. Mr. Falls, just one more question. When you said with Dahlia, do you mean the diamond is still missing? Along with the body of Dahlia Hawthorne? Never found her. My sweet Dahlia. They never found her. Swallowed by river. Gone. Dahlia. My teen this, angel. This makes me think of Woody the Pooh. The, wi the river <laughs> sucked <laughs> up poo. <laughs> oh, Your teen angel? How old was she anyway? Just 14. Well, that's perfect. 14?! I guess you were robbing cradles before diamonds. Yeah, he was 20 at the time. That's a bit wrong. Okay, but- okay. But she also agreed to it. Okay, A, yeah, she agreed to it. B, she's a terrible person. Also, uh -huh. C, not ever confirmed, but heavily implied this guy is mentally handicapped in some way. Yeah. So, if so, that explains why Although, he didn't think it was oh gross. Sure, but I think also when I immediately heard his voice, you did, and then also just his personality. It's more like, to me, my immediate thought was, this is a guy who has spent five years in, like, the worst of situations and terrible places, and he's seen some things, yeah. and there's no way for him to get out and address any of the problems that he's had from his past. Mm -hmm. So hence why he can't even comprehend anything, and he's being this way. But that would also make sense. Mm-hmm. Again, not confirmed, but it's at least implied. But it's implied. With, like, him sure. eating his ball and there's just the way he right. speaks. She plans a fake kidnapping and disappears into the river with a rock worth two million. Man, oh man. Angels these days. See, I think I know exactly what happened. I think both... Her... I think both Dahlia and other Hawthorne. Valerie. Valerie. 
decided like, you know what? We don't need this guy in on this. And then she comes after, shoots, and then Dahlia jumps. I don't think they were planning on her jumping, but she's like, you know what? I could get away with this entire diamond, diamond and everything by myself. And I don't need, and I don't know if she's a terrible person. Maybe she's like, I don't need you. Woohoo! And just jumps. But again, hard to figure out how she survived and also what she did. Right. I'm trying to think of like stuff. There could be in <laughs> the backpack. Mark. In the backpack, there could be an oxygen mask. In I feel like it's more the fall into the river itself that would Maybe be. she... Because, I mean, hitting the water at that high height is going to hurt. Maybe previous uh, theory of mine, maybe she was super swim team extraordinaire. <laughs> she was part of the Swedish show. Like, like, no, swim team. I, think I, I think I said something from the... I'm a super swimmer extraordinaire or whatever. The seal. Sammy seal. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm I was thinking. I'm flipping and flapping. flapping. Maybe Forgot she's that. good at that. And then she's just like, ooh, a perfect dive. Although she doesn't dive until she's a few <laughs> feet down. So that way they can't see that her feet are up. Goes in the water. She's fine. I don't know. There could be a lot of different things. Anyway, Falls takes the fall and gets a one-way ticket to death row. Is Dahlia Hawthorne an angel or is she really a... It's time, kitten. Looks like we have a few more aces up our sleeve now. You bet. Diamond added to the court record. Well, note of it. Yeah. The training wheels come off now, Mia. You've got to strike while the iron is hot. But I'm terrible at a two-wheel bike. <laughs> That's all I Mia can, can figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my rules. Remember it. Side note, the entire time that we had this whole conversation with what's-his-face, uh, the, the falls, I... Like, I'd swallowed, and I had the most delicious swallow of onion rings. <laughs> so, like, the whole time there's this scene, like, No! Don't jump! I'm like, mm, mm, Onion, onion rings. rings. <laughs> February 16th, 1.49pm, District Court, courtroom number four. Oh, here we are. Wait. Now was then? that Edgeworth? Yeah. His hair was, like, old it's young, man hair. Younger Edgeworth. Now then, let's continue the trial of Mr. Terry Falls. I thought we were going to do a different voice. Witness, are you? Oh, wait. Yeah, if he's talking to the witness now. She witness. wasn't on the stand when it started. Sure. Uh, let's think about this. Okay. Uh, we could have... Um... The witness, are you feeling the best? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Mario voice. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I'll try my best. Hmm, you're the brave young lady. <laughs> okay. It's so weird that he's got, like, the angry eyebrows. He's like, oh, ho, ho. Not this again. I can understand a defense lawyer wanting to get her client off the hook. However, to try to pin the crime on an innocent student is... What are you talking about? My witness is not the person on trial here. She's an innocent bystander who witnessed a violent crime. That's all. What possible reason would a girl like this have for murdering a policewoman? Maybe they're related! Okay. Um, it's certainly hard to imagine this woman as a murderer. <laughs> this feels so bad. This doesn't work. You need to have an angrier sounding voice. <gasps> Wario. It's certainly, um, it's certainly hard to imagine this woman as a murderer. There we go. Her motive, huh? I figured that's what I had to establish next. Well, Miss Faye, do you have any evidence of a murder? <laughs> this is like Wario mixed with Waluigi, I think. I'm of the judge, number one! <laughs> Uh, yes, of course, I think. Ha, you're still acting as tame as a kitten, kitten. Mr. Armando. Listen, a lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets. Smiling on the outside while your guts are twisted in knots is the mark of a pro, hence why I never frown. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so, but I wish you would quit grinning at me like that. Um, excuse me, may I speak, Mr. Judge? Of course! Mr. Judge is ready any time you like! <laughs> that, that sounds weird. <laughs> this sounds weird. I'd like... I'd like to say something. Some people here are suspicious of me, right? That's why... I... I at least wanted you, Mr. Judge, to know that it's not true. Mmm, I see. You're such an honest and upstanding young lady. <laughs> wow! <laughs> It looks like this witness is a real professional. What? What do you mean? Look at that 100 watt smile. Just when things are darkest for her, click, she lights right up. Her smile's terrible. She's like... 
No one can see what you're doing. Okay, no, you know that, like, terrible smile that you do when either you have terrible teeth, you're still in braces, or you're like, I'm smug, but I'm still gonna smile, and they're like, hmm, they have, like, the dumb oh. closed oh, like, yeah. smile. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see that on, like, girls, on, they're like, hmm. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm so pretty. I'm like, no, that that's a terrible smile. The, Please do not. That's kind of smile only works if you're a 2D avatar who's a 2D painting and has that little cute little you smile. Yeah. His otherwise, name is Colorful Artie. Ha, ha. Mine has that too. Yeah, it mine, does. Yours is open a, though. Mine's open, which makes a lot of sense. I actually did. Ah. When I made that, I put a lot of thought into mine where I'm like, okay, I'm like the younger sister, so I have a bow, and I'm always talking, and you're not, so I have my mouth open. My avatar, I feel right now, doesn't really resemble me very well, but. You're blue. Not, not that you're blue in real life. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, you're just chill. My original avatar was probably more reminiscent, but it was, it was <laughs> where I was just like. Me. had like the long frowning face yeah and now i've got like the really small you smile i feel like it's more that endearing can, but that, that doesn't also endearing. fit well me. but now i feel like you're happier now and you that now that you do youtube and stuff and you're like yeah i get to stream i'm more confident these... yeah 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 so that makes people happy. Very well then that's happy. what the witness has to say <laughs> oh boy what's dolly hawthorne dolly a foster Melissa, uh, Melissa Hawthorne. Hawthorne. Melissa Hawthorne. <laughs> I think that would be a future character. I, I was out of the country until the year before last. Uh-huh. Until I entered college, I had never even been to the Eagle Mountain before. And I certainly don't have any reason for wanting to hurt a police officer. Holding a grudge and killing the officer who testified against you five years ago. Or kidnapping a poor girl. I just think that the defendant is a terrible, horrible monster. Huh? Hmm. Out of the country, eh? Where were you? Precisely. Furthermore, she has no possible motive for committing murder. Hmm, indeed. Look? How about we look up your little records to see if you were out of the country or not? <laughs> You're up to bat, kitten. Sharpen those claws and put on your best smile. Meow. You bet. Somehow, I have to tie her to this case. So, do you, are you like, this should have been the first case. Um, the only thing that's annoying is right now it's like Blue's Clues, like, behind you! It's so obvious! <laughs> Talking about how have you lived this so long? long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. To me, it would, I would say there was the first case with Mia, there was this case with Mia. Either combine them into one, because they're both so short, and they both involve the same people. Hmm. Or you take one out. I would you say. You can't take one out. Okay, you, can't. you combine them because okay. one is so short, and the other, if there's nothing after this, is so short. <laughs> Do you think this is the last case of the game? No, I mean like last um, testimony. Like, there's going to be no oh. investigation period at all. I I won't spoil it. I hope there's an Melissa investigation Foster's period. history. Well, her butterflies <gasps> spurt out lies. Uh, so, what country were you living in then? We were all living abroad, but after my parents were killed... What are you, a dove? She's like, oh, my family was all murdered and I had to live all by She's myself. She's an anime character. <laughs> Not every anime character has their parents killed. That's more Just like 50% every, of That's them. more every Disney movie. That's true. Being a parent is the most dangerous occupation in a Disney movie. In a movie. Disney movie. But like... Anime, it's more likely that it's like, oh, I live on my own, but my parents study abroad, or like, I have a mom who works in America. Like, like um, up on Puppy Hill. Dad's oh, dead, and movie. mom uh, works in America. And then comes back, and she's Studies like, beef jerky! <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the movie! <laughs> that's the movie. <laughs> that's a fantastic movie. That's I love it so movie. much. It was a brutal civil war. She had to try to make her way back home alone. She's not, like, running through the mountains like, Gotta get home! Gotta make it across even though I can't go on an airplane! Even though I have a two million dollar diamond that I could easily convert to cash! <laughs> you need cash now! <laughs> I lost everything. I didn't even have any personal identification. Sad what kind of sob story is this? <laughs> what do I do? Should I press her for details? Yes. Yes, you press her for details. Witness, answer my question. I'll even repeat it for you. What country were you in? Your Honor, this line of questioning is childish. No, it's not! What country she was in and how many languages she may speak are irrelevant here. 
What we're here to evaluate is whether this witness has any connection to this case. I've lived abroad ever since I was a little girl. That's why I could never have known Mr. Falls or Detective Hawthorne. Yes, I think we've established that point. Well, um... Yes, indeed! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah. I feel like the Wario voice actually does kind of work for the judge. A little bit. Well then, shall we add what you've just stated to the official testimony? Yes, please, Mr. Judge. I didn't She's know the victim crying. or the defendant. Which... Mm, you didn't know either person? Are you certain of that? Yes, I'm afraid I'd rather shy around people. Hey, I hear you there, Dollar. Hey, Melissa. <laughs> She's not shy. She's the one who's with a dude every, like... That's true. New episode. <laughs> oh, I'm with That's... Phoenix, and I gave him the necklace, and we bonded. And he ate oh, it. Oh, <laughs> I, I used to date this other guy who I tried to poison. Oh, I knew this defendant and we jumped off a bridge. Like, she knows people. She she puts on a face. Oh, yeah, absolutely. A mask. Mm, oh, well, that can't be helped. Why is he just agreeing with everything that comes out of her mouth? The first time you saw either of them was when they were on the bridge, correct? Yes, it really was a coincidence. <laughs> Until I entered college, I had never even been to Eagle Mountain. Then how'd you know that you could... Take pictures of flowers! So what made you decide to go up Eagle Mountain anyway? I just love being outdoors, picnics, hiking, you know, that sort of thing. You don't look like much of a hiker to me, but you do look like a digger of sorts. <laughs> but Eagle Mountain is a two-hour drive from here and no trains run through there. There's plenty of mountains that are closer and easier to get to. Well, I went there once with the college hiking club. I fell in love with its stark, desolate beauty and its cold yet romantic gloominess. Didn't know you were such a goth. <laughs> By the way, what's the name of your college? The prosecution objects to any questions that involve the witness's private life. Um... All that matters is that she is a material witness to a crime. Um... The witness doesn't need to respond to questions that are clearly malicious intent. In intent? In, in intent. Okay, I I actually do kind of agree with Edgeworth there. I agree there. with Edgeworth, but here's the thing. If you are a witness or you are accused and you are on trial telling what you know, basically they can ask you anything, I feel like. it's They're supposed to be relevant to the case. It's supposed hand, to be though. relative to the case, but we're trying to have it relative to the case. This could be important. We don't want all the, the people in the court being like, oh, she goes to Ivy University. No, but here's the deal. She has only lived here for like, what, a few months? A year? And then if she's 19, that would mean she's been in college for two years. Yeah. So why- No, she's a freshman. She's 19. Yeah, maybe she took a gap year. Actually, no, wait, it's Japanese. Never mind. Yeah, that would make sense. Because you're... <laughs> it's Japanifornia. No, Japan... This is why you can't translate anything between animes in America and, like, games. Because in Japan, there you have five years of middle school and three years of high school. So your first year of high school is really, like, America's sophomore year. So every time where they're like, I'm a first year in high school, and it's like, you're 16. I'm like, that can't be right. And, no, it is. But it, it is for Japan, and so it doesn't translate. Thank you. She's really gone too far. Huh, <sighs> Miss Faye, you're treading on thin ice here. <laughs> I hardly said anything. Talk about sensitive. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't have any Don't reason have to any want reason. to hurt a police officer. Perhaps, but your behavior that day was very suspicious. Not only have you contradicted yourself here in court, but you know things you shouldn't. For example, the scratches on the trunk of the car. Well, that's... Unfortunately, Miss Faye, your last statement proves nothing. Oh, really? And why is that? The witness came to the police station once to identify the suspect. It's entirely possible that, at the time, an officer showed her this photo. Hmm. That seems like a rather serious mistake. Ha. That's the oldest trick in the prosecutor's book. That's not fair. That wicked inmate. I'll never be able to forget that horrible day. Okay, you'd think... Okay, we're, we're, we're assuming this is Dahlia, right? Oh, absolutely, <laughs> it's Dahlia. Okay, you would think that if, he, if she was his teen angel, he'd be able to recognize her, right? 
Unless it's like, oh yeah, when she was 14, she was a total goth, like black hair, like over the eyes. She could have dyed her hair. No, if, if she's this malicious, she absolutely could be like, changed my hair, changed my style. Because, you know, she, in the photos at least, if that was her, she's wearing like a backpack and jeans and a top. Like, that looks very different. That's true. Especially in um, anime standards, where <laughs> everybody wears the same outfit every day. <laughs> except oh, I had it, it's you! How the brief did you know it was me? Because it is you, you're, you're just wearing different clothes. <laughs> eh. Well, a grudge. Well, the policewoman's testimony was crucial, wasn't it? Crucial in getting the defendant sentenced to death. Yes, and that's precisely why he harbored such deep anger against her. So much anger that he forgot his own guilt. My client has always maintained that he's innocent of those charges. He seems rather forgetful. Your client, I mean. Not only did he forget about what he did, but he forgot the poor policewoman as well. What do you mean by that? Your client, he forgot what the detective looked like, right? It's too bad for her that he didn't forget about her testimony as well. Well, she's right about that. Mr. Falls is kind of forgetful. Wait and see, press harder. Isn't she not supposed to know that he remembered her testimony? She's been in the trial for a while. Eh, press so. harder. You said he forgot what the detective looked like. What did you mean by that? Well, he couldn't tell who she was without some sort of identification, right? Quite right. That's why the victim was wearing a scarf as identification. Why, if I had been wearing a white scarf that day, then he probably would have tried to kill me. Hmm, <sighs> that's true. He's clearly a bitter man. This is bad. Mr. Fall's reputation just keeps getting worse and worse. Sometimes it's best not to poke too deep. What should I do with that last statement? Have it added, leave it alone. When in doubt, have it added because it'll help. Your Honor, uh, what the witness said just now was tremendously important. I'd like to have it added to the official testimony. The prosecution has no objection. After all, the defendant is a killer and a mentally unbalanced one at that. That testimony only helps to further prove that point. Huh. No, no, that's not why I... Enough! Witness, if you would... My pleasure, Mr. Judge. I guess I'm lucky that I wasn't wearing a white scarf. Well, you might be. What do you mean by lucky? Well, it's February now, everyone's wearing scarves. Okay, can I just stop? I see zero per point in a scarf. I agree with you. What? However, I see point in a scarf if you have short hair. Okay, I guess my mentality... So, if, just so people know, I get cold extremely easily, and... You do? Okay. I'm bothered by the cold very okay. easily. Okay, I was about to say, I'm like... And on my easy. skin dries up a ton when oh, it's yeah. in the winter. So, when I go outside, I basically can show no skin. I probably wouldn't be out of place in a mosque. <laughs> yeah. Where, like, I have a massive overcoat, tons of layers, huge boots, like, snow ski pants, mask. gloves. I wear a ski mask. To keep, it's so nice. It keeps everything... Warm. It keep my face warm. Basically, it's you intimidating. can, like, just see I, I'm, basic, I'm basically, like... Why would you wear a scarf when you can have a ski mask? But I mean, obviously, ski mask looks more intimidating. Well, for girls, <laughs> walking down college campus with yeah. that. Yeah. I, I had some female students who were like walking far away from me. I don't blame them at all. Sure. I think the difference is if you're wearing a ski mask, for girls, it ruins your hair, which I don't care about. That is true. Um, scarves can be fashionable and cute and whatever, but usually the cute ones are not functional. For me, I have long enough hair that I can wrap it around my neck twice. <laughs> so, it's no problem. So you don't even need a scarf. You can no, just have I your don't. hair. No, I don't. Look at this. I can just have my hair. It, and I look like a cat, but... Um, I was, I was going to say it looks like a hijab, but... I mean, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. So I don't really see the point in that at all for me. But if you have short hair or you like scarves, cool. If I had accidentally worn a white scarf like he said... Then you yourself might have been killed. Hmm, that would have been a terrible loss for this world. Ha, <laughs> it looks like you pressed too hard this time, kitten. Mr. Armando. Keep looking around to you and you're about to, and you're going to lose sight to the finish line. Justice is blind, but she's not deaf. Sometimes you have to know when not to talk. Look, I don't care. Or kidnapping a poor girl, I just think to defend- <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Let's press this. Let's press it. You knew about that incident? 
But weren't you out of the country until the year before last? Well, I saw a report about the escaped convict on the news. Is it that big? It, oh, it wow. Probably it would have been that I big. I mean, escaped prisoner if it doesn't happen very often. Yeah. Sure. They had an in-depth record about his whole history. Yeah, like um, El Chapo. <laughs> yeah, El Chapo. That, that went everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he might have had inside help. Motorcycle tracks. In the, <laughs> in the, so in he the underground. might have had help. <laughs> so, wait. If I do a Waluigi voice, it would be better. <laughs> so, you were still thinking. <laughs> you were still thinking. <laughs> you were still thinking about living abroad five years ago. Is that right? <laughs> Nah, nah. Wario's better. Yes. I can't let her get away with these lies. Listen to me. She's neck deep in this whole thing. Somehow you're just going to have to get her to show the court her true self. Make her drown. Alright. Uh, out of the country. That's whatever. <laughs> you didn't know either the victim or the defendant. I think that's garbage, but still. <sighs> I had never been to Eagle Mountain. Fine. I certainly don't have any reason for wanting to hurt a police officer. We don't know anything really about her. We right can't only. prove she's Dahlia, and she's right now Dahlia Mia right doesn't now. even consider that a possibility. Sure. Next. Holding a grudge and killing the officer who testified against you. Five years ago. Five years ago. I guess I'm lucky I wasn't wearing a white scarf. Or kidnapping a poor girl. I just think the defendant's a terrible, horrible monster. Does she know that How he How do didn't... people cry on command anyways? There's a way. When you're in the theater world, you figure it out. <laughs> I'm just picturing Doofenshmirtz with, like, his eyes eye are filled with his tears, just like... <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, <laughs> when you have to do it, like, and be ready to run on stage, there's ways to make yourself look like you're crying. But generally, when you're doing something like that, you, uh, at least for me, I get so wrapped up in the character that I can just immediately put on the emotions, which is terrible because i'm an emotional wreck by the end of whatever the heck i'm doing oh. um and then like i get home and i'm like ah, ah, i'm so drained but i'm still so up like that's the hard thing about being an extrovert is that when you do like when you perform or you do a speech or you go to a party you get like all this energy from other people and then you're just hyper when you get home and then you completely crash yep it's awful not that you'd know yeah, anything about that. Yeah, it sounds that. terrible. Not that you'd know anything about that, but... How terrible it must be to have a social life. Hey, but when you don't have it, you're like completely... It's like... Ugh, it's like drugs. You really... How the heck do <laughs> no. you know it's like drugs? No, you really, really <laughs> want to have this social interaction. And you really want it, but then you're just craving it and you keep... Like, and you keep going and going and going until you just completely crash like drugs. Not that I've done drugs, but that's what I've heard. And <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'm glad that I wasn't wearing a white scarf. Um, Which statement do you think it is? I think it's either naturally I didn't know the defendant or the victim. Um, so that's the one we got by having it added to the testimony. Right. And then that one was, that also, one was added. also added. It's one of the two that was added, I'm guessing. Because they want you to work hard in Phoenix, right? Right. Well, we have no way of establishing a connection between Melissa. Melissa and Dahlia. But the fact that she knows a lot about the, the um, incident before seems strange. Hmm. Basically, we need to prove that she was around here. Right. Uh, let's look at our evidence. We had that... Diamond. Yep. Two million dollar gem used as a ransom for Dahlia. Lost to Eagle River. Fo oh yeah, I think we have her profile now. Yep. Uh, age deceased. That is definitely not her. Bowery's younger sis. Victim of the kidnapping and murder. Fell from fell bridge. bridge nobody. nobody found. That's a creepy portrait. Holy cow. Well, but that's because they have its silhouette. I know, but it's still creepy. Oh yeah. That's less creepy. I will say, <laughs> if if Melissa is Dahlia, she and her sister look nothing alike. <laughs> That's she's well, got she's got red hair, big eyes, super small frame, like girly, all these things, and then the other girl's like I'm she's not the Hulk. <laughs> no, but she's but she's taller. She's, she's taller. more muscular. She's got like the bob. Uh, that that like. What about her sister in law and her sister? They look different. They have completely different figures. Who? Oh, well... Sister-in-law and her sister. The only one. <laughs> yeah. 
But when you look at their parents, it, like, makes more sense. And their faces look similar. What That's I'm saying true. is their yeah. faces don't look similar at all. Let me, let me see that. It's like... Here's okay. her. Oh, I'm so pretty. Here's her. Oh yeah, yeah never mind. It's like it's like <laughs> Mul it's like if Mulan and Merida with sh with like straight hair were related. Okay, well maybe Dahlia dyes her hair red. Yeah, it could be. Um, or Melissa. She's lucky that she weren't. wasn't wearing. She white done scarf. dirt weren't. <laughs> that dirt weren't. Darn scarf. tootin. Um, the scarf is blue. It's true. It's not white. That might be a problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we may definitely need to look into that. <laughs> I just realized that, like, the scarf's blue. Witness, I want you to look at this photo you took. That also would have worked, I It's think. hard to see in the photo, but looking at the scarf, or look at the scarf that the victim wore as identification. 